You might be earning a lot of money for yourself, but due to your poor money habits, you could waste most of it. Do you want proof? 38% of US households have a credit card debt. 33% of US adults save $0 for their retirement. In the US, there is $58 billion just sitting there in unclaimed cash. In Australia, $13.8 billion worth of retirement fund money was lost as people forget to claim their money. It all comes down to poor money habits. So in this video, I will discuss with you five poor money habits and ways to break them. Hey, it's Cass here. Welcome to The Freedom Show. The first poor money habit I want to explain with you is not doing retirement planning. Everybody will retire one day, but do you want to retire without any money? How would that feel? It's hard to work after 60 years of age also, so just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to retire with at least $400,000, focus on these things. Regularly contribute a component of your salary to your retirement fund or your 401k or a national pension scheme or super fund, depending on where you're watching this video. Ask your employer to contribute to your right retirement account. If possible, after getting your salary, you can contribute an additional 2-3% to of your total monthly income to your retirement balance. Do it. This will boost your funds. Choose the aggressive investment option for your retirement fund. This will enhance the performance of your fund in the long term, and this works best if you're just starting out your career. So, if you do some early retirement planning, you'll have a much more comfortable retirement for sure. In fact, once you have a solid retirement plan, you could retire much, much earlier than expected. The second poor money habit I want to share with you is not creating an emergency savings of 12 months. Due to a worldwide pandemic and recent unexpected global weather events, it's very wise for us to be creating a 12-month emergency savings account. These savings accounts will help us during such uncertain times. Unfortunately though, due to poor financial planning, some of us don't actually have a clue how to create a 12-month emergency saving account. So here's an idea to get you started. You can sell your unwanted items on Craigslist, Gumtree or even eBay. My friend sold his gaming station, his bar fridge and some old books on Gumtree and as a result deposited $3,200 in his emergency savings. The second most urgent task you can do is to negotiate your recurring bills. If you see that you're coming out of contract in your electricity, your mobile phone plan, your insurance or even maybe your gym membership, it's time to negotiate. You can shop around online and you can find the best price. Then call up your service provider to offer you a better deal. If they don't give you something special, you can always switch. Thirdly, you can start creating a passive income stream. There are lots of ways you can create a passive income. For example, if you have money, you can invest in an index fund and watch your investment grow. Or if you get some spare time over the weekend, you can work on an online business such as starting a blog or a YouTube channel. To get more battle-tested passive income ideas, you can check out this book. 20 passive income ideas in detail. The third poor money habit is not tracking your spending or following a budget. The first thing you should do is look back to your last six to eight months worth of spending. Identify and eliminate the costs that you don't need. Find out if there's any recurring payments going on that you're not aware of and find out how much rent you're paying if you're a renter. I guarantee you that you will be amazed to find out your spending habits. This will help you understand the difference between a need and a want. One of my best friends did this exercise with me and he found out that he was spending over $800 every month on his Friday nights out and he was paying more than 40% of his salary towards rent. After this fact-finding exercise, he immediately decided to change this rental and eliminate his want spending. After that, you can create a budget for yourself. I know it sounds hard, but it's actually not. All you need to do is create a high-level income and spending amount that you want to see each month for the next six months. This will prompt you to create an automate saving. You can create automate savings by simply logging into your bank app. The fourth poor money habit, you buy depreciating assets on your credit card. Let's be honest now, we love shopping. Most of the stuff we buy, we buy on credit cards that don't earn money for us. They are mostly consumable stuff. In short, we buy things that we don't need on credit cards. The average credit card balance of a millennial is $4,500. The overall credit card debt in Australia is not good either. Australians have approximately $20 billion worth of credit card debt as of November 2020. 
The bad money habit is to use credit cards when we don't have money. We rely on our credit cards and fulfill our desires now. And as a result, we end up suffering later. So there are a few things that we can do to get over this bad habit. You can consolidate existing credit card debts into your personal loan. As a credit card has a high interest rate, by converting into a personal loan, you can settle for a lower interest rate. Cut your credit card up into pieces. Pay the outstanding in a monthly installment. Don't go for reward points if you can't resist online shopping. However, if you're a high spender due to a family or business reasons, you can buy things on a reward card, but pay that off immediately from your daily account. The fifth habit, you haven't started investing yet. If you ignore stock market investing or crypto investing, you will regret this later. By the way, there are detailed videos on stock market investing or NFTs in this channel. Check that out later. So investing early allows you to grow your investment in a compounding rate. As you've noticed, we are living in a high inflation environment. We need to invest in something that will grow beyond inflation. As a finance professional, I would say that investing in the stock market is a great way to grow your investment balance. The average return from stock market investing is between 8 and 10%. And the cool thing is, you don't need to start investing with $5,000. You can start investing with as little as $100. Make sure you read this book, Master Stock Market Investing in 2 Hours. It's available on Amazon. This book is amazing. It will teach you how to start investing with $100 and will show you how to grow your investment beyond $1 million. This book will help you understand that investing in the stock market is actually quite easy and you just need two to three solid tips. So these are the most common mistakes that I find among my clients when I was working in the bank. People don't track their spending and they don't have a budget. People are attracted to credit cards like a moth to fire. And most importantly, People don't start investing in the stock market early. They start later and they miss the big opportunities. Now, tell me, how did you find the video? If you liked it, please subscribe and give this video a like. You'll get more value-based content that will help you achieve your financial freedom faster.